Hey guys, Shelly here. Today we are in the kitchen and I wanted to show you what's going in the freeze dryer and a little shopping tip. I've already got two trays in the freeze dryer, but this is what's going in. This is steamed cauliflower. And our local Kroger had this in their, um, in their clearance section today in the veggie department and I got four heads of cauliflower for 99 cents each. So I brought those home and I steamed them in the Instant Pot and they are going in the freeze dryer. This is the next thing I wanted to show you. This is uncured black forest ham from Sam's. I paid $2.98 a pound for this and if I wanted to buy it sliced and in a package, it was $6.99 a pound. So for over $3 a pound discount, I bought the whole thing and I'm gonna slice it up and I'm gonna freeze dry some of the slices and I'll show you that in a minute whenever I get them. And the last thing, I have some pickles. These are bread and butter pickles, and I have some green olives. And this was a suggestion or a question from Robert at Homestead Aquarius. He asked if we had ever freeze dried pickles or olives, and I told him no. I've heard that um, dill pickles, you really have to rinse them because they get so super salty. And that's why I'm gonna start with the bread and butter and just see how they do. And these olives, are not really salty. They almost taste like black olives. Um, just a little bit heavier brine, but very similar in taste. So they're not super salty. So Robert, this is for you. If anybody else has any ideas or suggestions of things you would like to see us freeze dry and we show you the results, just let me know and we will give it a try. So I'm gonna go back to slice and deli meat and I will show you the end result in a few minutes. All right, here we go. We've got a tray of the ham all rolled up. Here's our pickles, there's our olives, cauliflower and two more trays of cauliflower all going in the freeze dryer today. We'll let you know how they turn out. Here is our final product. I forgot to video, so I've already started packing some of this. This is our um, ham deli meat. And I've got this half of it packed in jars. This is our cauliflower. It looks good. And here's our olives and pickles. So let's give those a try. One day I'm going to start wearing makeup or something for these videos, maybe. Probably not, though. All right, so let's try one of the green olives. It's kind of weird. I love green olives, by the way. Um, they're not crunchy. They're, they're a little bit chewy but still tastes like a green olive. The flavor is not really super strong or anything. I don't think it's something that I would do on a regular basis because it's just not that different from a regular olive. So let me get one of the pickles. Okay, that's one of the bread and butter pickles. They're crunchy as you can tell. and they taste really sweet. And then you get just a little bit of that, of that dill flavor. Those are really good. Now those I might, I might do a tray or two just to have. So pretty interesting, pretty interesting little trial there. So if you have an idea of something that you would like for us to try to freeze dry and let you know how it turns out, let me know and maybe we'll try it.